All right, y'all, back at you. And today, we are gonna talk about the river in our backyard. And more specifically, the, the uh, direction the river flows. Um, unlike, unlike a lot of rivers, you know, if you if you're, live in most parts of this country, your, your river only flows in one direction. But this river, actually, some days it'll flow north in this direction. Other days it'll flow south, which is this direction. Kind of is flowing south today. And uh, some days it looks like it's not flowing at all. And here's some footage I've collected over the past week or so of it flowing in different directions. Today, the river is flowing north. Today, the river is flowing south to southeast. Today, the river doesn't look like it's flowing at all. Now, Teddy here knows why it flows in different directions, and we'll ask him in just a minute, but first, I need to explain a little bit more about this river. This, this river is actually, it's not a freshwater river, it's brackish water. Um, it's it's a, a body of water where inland streams and rivers meet ocean water. And it is somewhat influenced by the tides. Um, the, the water level will go up and down depending on the tide. But um, for the most part, its direction its direction of flow is caused by what? The wind. The wind, that's right. So this really, I think technically this um, is, I mean, it's, they call it uh, the Indian River, but it's really the Indian River Lagoon. It's a lagoon. And, um, and the direction of this river, the, the direction the river flows is almost entirely caused by wind. And it's really crazy. Some days it'll be flowing north real fast, right? Yeah, like super fast. Yeah, and then the next day it, it could be still, completely still, or it, it's flowing south real fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really crazy. Um, you know, most rivers only flow in one direction. Uh, and I, in the Northern Hemisphere, I think most rivers flow from north to south or north to southeast. There's, of course, there's exceptions. I think, uh, do you know what the biggest exception to that is? The Nile River, I believe it flows north, yeah. and 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 a lot of that has to do with just terrain. I mean, if the river starts at a higher terrain and then runs off the, you know, runs north off the mountain, then it's going to flow north. But this river flows in all different directions, and and it and I didn't I didn't know why for a, for a while, and we finally looked it up, and sure enough, it is it's all the the direction of of the river is caused. The, the flow, the way the river flows, is caused by wind. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do some more videos on this river. It's it's a quite an amazing uh, body of water. It's one of the most diverse ecosystems um, in the country, really. But uh, for now, what time is it, huh? To subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Hit that. I finally learned how to put a subscribe button. Uh, maybe it's right down here. I don't no, know. So, right or right here. Yeah, yeah. Here. All right. So y'all hit that subscribe button, and if you don't, what happens? You're gonna be. You're gonna start floating in outer space. Oh man, you're gonna start floating in outer space, and just like this river, you're gonna be floating in all different directions, right? Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Well, until next time, everybody, take care.